Footvax is an inactivated vaccine. It's administered to animals at a one mil dose, two shots, six weeks apart. This vaccine is given under the skin, three to four inches behind the ear. We recommend that the vaccine is stored in a fridge between two and eight degrees Celsius. During transit, you can bring it home in a cooler bag similar to this. The vaccine can be attached to a vaccination gun and that means that you're always administering the correct dose to the animal. The onset of immunity is three weeks after the second dose of the vaccine has been given. Protection is provided from the vaccine for six months. Booster doses can be given at any stage up to 12 months after the primary course. Because you're getting six months protection, aim to give your booster dose prior to the next risk period on your farm. A typical risk period is generally a time of wet weather, such as the autumn winter period that we experience here in Ireland. Therefore, a booster dose can be administered prior to this around about September. Vaccination plays a key role in building animals' immunity against important endemic pathogens. One of the common vaccines used in sheep is Heptavac P. Heptavac P is an inactivated or dead vaccine, as I like to call it. And that really is important when we think about how we actually use this vaccine. This vaccine requires two doses as part of the primary course, and that's two doses administered under the skin, a two mil dose, two shots, four to six weeks apart. Every year thereafter, animals should receive an annual booster within 12 months of the previous dose. One thing I'd also just draw your attention to is the shelf life of the vaccine. Try and get the bottle size that you actually need to use to vaccinate the group of animals that you're doing. Once the vaccine has been opened, the shelf life of Heptavac P is 10 hours, which means unfortunately that you can't reseal the bottle and reuse it another day. Inside every box, there's the bottle. There's also what we call the data sheet. And this contains all of the useful information that you will need in terms of how to use the vaccine, how to administer it and the dose. Of course, if you have any further questions, you can contact your vet. You can also use the vaccine with a vaccination gun. And the vaccination gun is set to administer the right amount of the product to each animal when administered correctly. Remember to shake the bottle both before and during use. Some vaccinations products settle down in the bottom of the bottle, so remember just to give it a good shake before attaching it to the gun. Use the right size of needles and syringes. Remember, some of the animals that we're vaccinating are only three weeks old, so they're still very young. A large needle, a large blunt needle even, can actually cause stress to that animal. So if we use a very fine needle, and make sure that we're using fresh needles, that will maintain the sharpness of the needle so that that animal will be under less stress at the time of vaccination. Because Heptavac P is an inactivated vaccine, the two doses are extremely important. The first dose of the primary course is what we call the priming shot. And it's the second dose of the primary course administered four to six weeks later that actually gives the big boost in immunity that will last out for the full year. So it's actually the second dose is the most important dose. When you buy your vaccines, take them home, but during transit, you can actually put them into a cooler bag. So this is one that MSD supplies, but you might have your own handy in the car. Bring them straight home and put them into the fridge. It's important that vaccines are stored in a working fridge between two and eight degrees Celsius. That means that once you take them out, you're ready to use them.